G'day. G'day. How are we going? Great. You? Yeah, good. So, oh, we introduction. Yeah, introduction. This is Cup of Tea and a Yarn, and I'm Kylie. I'm Crafty Mama on Instagram and Ravelry. And I am Jill, and I'm Tea and a Yarn on Instagram and Ravelry. Yep, and, and we mostly talk about knitting. We do, and other fibre stuff, lots of fibre stuff. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm in Auckland today. And leaving and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're in Auckland. And you're down in Tauranga. And I see it's sunny in Auckland. I don't think it's been sunny very often in Auckland. Today is like the first beautiful day we've had in I don't know how long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yesterday was horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, every time we have a bad weather day on a school day, it validates our decision to to rent in a place that our kids can um, ride their bikes to and from school because... Yeah. Like yesterday morning, my husband said it took him an extra 45 minutes to drop the kids. Oh, wow. Yep. And yesterday afternoon, I left work at quarter to three. Takes me half an hour to get home. And then I wasn't home until after four. By the time I picked them both up. I kind of don't think yep. about, the tra- like you think about traffic being in the city centre, not like where you guys are. Well, traffic is mad. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. School, so. school traffic in Taronga lasts for about 10 minutes yeah maybe, maybe 15 if we're if it's a really bad day <laughs> yeah yeah no it's um it's it's manic so that's that it, every time we have a day like that it validates our decision not to buy in a cheaper area but to rent where our lifestyle is better <laughs> nice absolutely <laughs> <laughs> and we're so, kind of we're kind of squishing in, aren't we? Because it's yes. it, it's um during the week, kids things going on, and yeah, yep. so it's like before dinner and before all of the sporty things start. Yeah, yeah, soccer, piano, all that rubbish, <laughs> all the stuff that makes life awesome. But yeah. <laughs> so I've finished a few things. Me too. Um, I've been cranking a bit on my machine. Mm-hmm. Um, we had our crank in at uh, our local, at, at our creative fibre person's house, mm-hmm. um, but it was our Saturday morning group. Um, so we had three machines there, three sock knitting machines. So we did take a little video and, Jill, you'll put that at the end, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. So watch till the end if you want to see what this sock madness is about. Um, But I have got two complete pairs of socks from Sock Machine Knitting. Mm -hmm. So the first is a pair for my daughter. Oh, nice colours. Yeah, so this is out of the Tootsies. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, And it's so soft. So these are actually quite a bit larger on my daughter's foot so in terms of length they're perfect but circumference they're a little bit loose Mm -hmm. which is kind of it's what she wanted for just slopping around the house Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah it's just really really soft yarn could you do your toes and heels on the machine as well yep yep so they're the short row heels on the machine Mm -hmm. yep so that's that's Mm -hmm. one pair and yeah Oh, she's so happy. Yeah. Right. She, she like, grabs them off me once I sewed them up, grabs them off me and put them straight on her feet. And she was just like, oh, Mum, these are my favourite socks that you've ever knit me. Oh, cool. <laughs> Worth it. But, yeah, those colours are so fun. I bought that yarn specifically for her. Um, so I'm pleased with them. I actually knit three socks in mm. that because the middle sock, I dropped some stitches like a long way down. I did go to the effort of picking them up, um, but when I finished, I had a look at them and I was just like, I've got enough yarn to knit a third sock. So I just I just knit a third sock. Yeah. And then I unraveled the middle one. So I might make some shorties for myself. Oh, nice, yeah. Or even some shorties for her. Yeah. As soon as she nice. loves, the, loves it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um and the other pair uh, are actually 
only got one to show because I did this last night at Knit Group because that's where my machine is living. Oh, yeah. This is Regia, Arne and Carlos. Oh, yeah. Okay. And these are for my mom, who's in New Zealand right now. Uh, she's travelled to Morrinsville today, so I'm picking her up from Morrinsville on Friday. Um, but I bought this yarn to knit mom a pair of socks on my machine last time I was in Sydney. Uh, so I feel good about that. And I tell you what, there wasn't much left either. Like I'm, mum's got a bigger foot than me, so there was maybe 10, 15 grams left. Mm-hmm. Um, so the other pair I thought I would bring and show, they're, yeah. I've put them on needles because I did have some, I don't normally put it on needles. I leave it on the waste yarn and um, Kitchener it from the inside. But this is what it looks like before I've stitched them up. So the join is on the top. So you can see that I've come down here and short road across, then short road up. And that gray green bit there is my join. Mm. But it's pretty good. Oh, ignore my filthy nails. I've been, I work at the iron plant, guys. Like, yeah, <laughs> I was digging through the shit today. Like, honestly, it was ridiculous. It's amazing how clean I am. <laughs> cool. I like, I really like them. Yeah. So, mum's coming on Friday. I'm get picking mum up on Friday, so I'll be able to gift her these socks. Yeah, they're really cool. So, I actually at the when I bought these, I got a pair. I got a ball for myself as well in the purples. So yeah, I just thought these were mum's colours. Yeah, nice. They they're really like um, Nordic looking, aren't they? Yeah. Well, yeah. Anna and Carlos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I, they do such a good job with their yarn and I think their yarn really is perfect for the sock machine, you know, like it's just, it just needs to be knit plain. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I haven't finished haven't, any socks. No socks. You haven't finished any socks. Zero socks. Like I always do socks, but no socks. Yeah. Really. Well, there I, you go. My flower socks are going quite slowly, so I nearly finished the legs. Right. That's it. <laughs> oh, well, um, they will take a while, though, those ones. Okay. Well, they take a bit of concentrating, like yeah. following the pattern, and like it's not just to sit and knit. Yeah, that's all right. That's Have you good. got some vanilla socks on the go as well, though? Yeah. I've yeah. Just, got, um, just in my other at, at work, actually, sitting on my oh, desk. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a pair of vanilla socks sitting on my desk as well. Yeah. But I had um I have finished my other roundy roundy project. Ooh, your jumper? No, no. This oh. is something that I've not talked about ever. <laughs> so um I got this yarn when we were at um Fibertron and you guys were like you said and so did um Marina said it would make a really good something around my neck. So oh Marina's my Marina from Strawberry Patches is doing a cowl along at the moment. Yes. So I thought, well, I will do that. So this is um, oh, sand, sand skeins, is it? Sand skeinery. Sand, yeah, they're on Capity Coast, aren't they, yeah. those guys? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's their yarn. I have morphed two patterns to my cowl. Um, mm-hmm. it's the, we'll just get my notes because I need my notes to know which, <laughs> which ones I did morph. Um, it looks yeah. so good and matches your shirt that you're wearing with the Bahutakawa. Yeah. yeah. It's the way out West bend down the cowl as a shape. So yep. with the decreases in the place. And then it's, um, I did don't touch your face little, which has just like, it's a free pattern and it's yep. got like little. A little, I don't oh, know, pattern on it, like where you do, um, you do five, five stitches with two loops on, then you yep. drop them, knit them together with uh, five. Oh. Didn't really make any sense, did it? So you, so you, when you get back to that, you drop the five, so you've got five long stitches, 
and then you yep. knit those together and you go knit over knit over knit so you get five stitches back so it gives and that like, brings them all in brings all the loops um, into a point a little loop yeah like a little so oh, cool yeah so that That's was awesome. that was my roundy roundy because it was it was quite roundy roundy and there was like lot, there's yeah. lots of just round and rounds in between the the pattern yeah and um, sand coast skeinery it is sand coast skeinery yeah um the color is called on fire so this is my cowl on fire that's awesome i haven't blocked it yet hasn't has it that i am really happy um cool. i found because i i like the idea of cowls but i sometimes find um like i made my oh this, the one with the slip stitches like the one that you're kind of make the what are you making with the slip stitches that oh the um the shift the shift yes yeah. so i made the yep. shift cowl and yep. i really like it except for it hangs quite low right yeah and i which is which is good for a, a look but i yep. also wanted something that would sit quite high on my neck yeah as well yeah and also but not too like would give coverage here I've been wearing a lot of cows just like around the house. Right. Um, because like if you're doing something like washing the dishes or you know, just mm. doing bits and pieces around the house, you don't want a shawl falling off into the dishwater, for example. No, you don't. Yeah. So they're actually a very practical thing. Yeah. yeah. And I do like that. That I think of all of the ones I've made, I think that one might be my favorite. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Hmm. Um. Well, I've actually finished some hand knitted socks as well. Wow. Yeah. So three pairs of socks in two weeks. Wow. I thought it was going to be four. Actually, I'm nearly yeah. finished another pair. Yeah. Um. But these were the little test knit ones that I did for Scarlet. So nice. interesting comparison. Between this and this. Now, this is on a blocker, so it's stretched a little bit. You can see mm -hmm. the stretch. Um, this is the right length. Mm -hmm. But that is the right width for her foot. See yeah. how it's a little bit smaller. But yes. this has got that ribbed sort of pattern, so it does stretch more than this. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, so you look at this and you think, how do those socks fit? her when these are socks that fit her but it's actually they're not too different yeah yeah they're, um, they're really cool are you happy with them yeah really really happy with them um I spilled coffee on them I was knitting them at work and I spilled coffee I spilled three cups of coffee last week oh, it was no. a bad week oh, so no. I've tried to wash them but they've got coffee stains on them I got most of it out I've got to say that's actually one I I, I actually think I missed it mm. um but I ended up when I was reading how to remove coffee stains from wool all of the things said wash it in cold water straight away and I was like but I spilled it on my yarn ball like I'm not <laughs> gonna wash my yarn ball straight away mm. um so anyway, yeah, that's the only one. So I ended up just soaking it in some soak, some wool wash, and then the bits with coffee on it, I just, um, after I'd soaked it for a little bit, I put some more wool wash directly on it and just gave it a little bit of a that sort of thing. And yeah. uh, it didn't do too badly. So. Oh, nice colours. So this is, the, this is from Giddy Yarns in Scotland. Um, and this is one of her colour of the month sets with a 50 gram um, main colour and a 20 gram matching. And I see Purple Sprouting is doing that now. Cool. I'm super excited because I suggested that to her. I was like, there's this dyer I love in Scotland who does this and I wish you would do it. And now yep. she's doing it. There she is. Fantastic. Um, the pattern is going to be in the show notes that was last week as well you talked yeah about it was in last week's yeah so it, it's the north it'll be in the show notes yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna try <laughs> but yeah cool how it has the gradient yeah. 
very cool. Color dipped, color dipped, or something. I don't know. Kind of, kind of reminds me of the same kind of colors I've got for my finished. Mm, this is so beautiful. I saw Annette post this. Mm, it's yeah. Gorgeous. So similar colors, eh? Hmm. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. So this, this is my silter, um, silter. which yep. silter, which is out of the that Lane book, fifty-two weeks of scarves or something. Yeah. So is it scarves or shawls? Shawls, one of them. Um. Hmm. Silter by Tiff Neeland or Nellen, N E I Neil, I think Neeland. Yeah. And it was um, two of Annette's bats, so Twisted Sisters bats, and um, two that were quite similar. Um, that I did one and then did the other, and I put them together. Yep. Yeah. Applied them together. Applied them together. So I had about six hundred and forty meters altogether. So it's a round about a sport weight for two hundred grams. Yeah, that'd be about right, yeah, isn't that's it? That's about right. Yeah. yeah. So um, I, I'm so I really love it. I love how it's turned out. And it's got a bit of sparkle in it too. Yes, it does. It has sparkles because it was in the in the bat. Yeah, some gold sparkles, I think. Yeah. 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 It has gold sparkles. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. So, um, and it was a really quick knit because it was on big needles. Mm. Um, I didn't do the biggest. It's supposed to be DK weight. Mm -hmm. Um, I did obviously didn't do DK weight. <laughs> but yeah, and I yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's beautiful. Will I you did. bring that along to retreat so I can squish it? Of course, I I will. Yes, it's really squishable. Oh, it looks squishable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite light. Like because it's two hundred. It's like even though it's two hundred grams, it feels light. I suppose mm -hmm. that's because of the, the big needles and things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was that's another beautiful. <laughs> so you said you didn't do the large sizes. Does that mean there were two sizes? Um, or you just I, didn't, didn't, I didn't use the large needles. So they had, oh, there was one size um, and it was supposed to be DK weight. Mm. Um, I think it might have been on five mils. Right. So I've done mine on four or four, I, I think probably fours, and it's sport weight. Yeah. yeah. And I just kept on going till I ran out. I've just got a little right. bit left, which I kind of am going, hmm, does it need a tassel? <laughs> Ooh, that would be really fun, actually. And then it's like, how many tassels? Does it just want one here, or does it need one on each end? Don't know. You know, the other thing you could do is do some embroidery on the other colour section. Oh. oh, I don't know about embroidery. <laughs> There's a new book out, Embroidery on Knitwear. Uh, yes, I've been seeing some really cool stuff. I yeah. Know that sort of the um, patterns are coming out at the moment. I've got embroidery on them too. Mm. Is that, I, I don't know if I'm ready to take that step. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of love love it, but it's a lot more work, eh? Yeah, it's like you haven't yeah. finished. You've knit it, no, you haven't finished. You still have this other craft to do as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, to me, if I'm going to embroider on something, it's usually because there's something wrong with it. Oh, uh, yes. So I'm either mending mm. or I'm covering up a something I didn't like about the design or yeah. <laughs> yeah but it could be a fun thing to do with a little bit of leftovers especially with a gradient because you've got that end color left you could then Just do it on the top, top. Mm. Mm. yeah it probably won't but great idea <laughs> i'm full of great ideas yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. it would be amazing but i yeah. it's not no, you it's not gonna happen it's fine <laughs> So I finished another thing. This okay. takes me to this takes me to seventeen finished whips for the year two thousand. Yeah. Sorry, I'm living in the year two thousand for the year twenty twenty three. So things that were cast on previously prior to twenty twenty three. Yeah. That I have finished, and it's a big one. This is a biggie. This is going to be a good one for your um stash decrease 
Well, that was a significant motivator. Mo uh, okay, it's here we go. Oh. It's the Find Your Fade shawl, and it is enormous. Oh, cool. I wow. haven't locked it yet. You it might not feel too. Nah, it does need to be blocked okay. to just kind of bring the lace out a bit more, but yeah. Cool. So, and, for you, yeah. And, for you, and for you who is normally a Stephen, like you do a lot of Stephen West scarves and shawls, for you to say it's enormous, it must be pretty big. It's huge. Look at it. Mm. Like I kind of love it, but I, I love it. I, not I kind of love it. I love it, but yeah. it is it is huge. And yeah. I really love that this rose, these two, yeah. these are my two favourite colours. I love that they sit here when I yeah. do that with it. So. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so beautiful. it's really warm. Yeah. I've actually been wearing it like as I've been knitting it. It's been covering my entire torso. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually like surprisingly warm mm. on my torso like that. So yeah. Yeah. so this is the Find Your Fade by Andrea Maori. It's in the original colorways. I have detailed the colors over the time. Oh. Um it's taken me, I thought it had taken me um, five years, but when I actually went on Ravelry, I didn't start it until 2021. So it's only oh, taken me two years. years. So right. that's pretty good. Actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So seven skeins. My God. That, that doesn't mean control. that there's seven skeins in it so right. when I actually totaled it up with uh, now I didn't do any pre-weighing so the skeins are always bigger mm -hmm. um, but with the remainder if the skeins were 100 meter uh, grams exactly it was like 3.7 skeins total and so what are you going to take off seven skeins or 3.7 I'm taking seven skeins off man <laughs> But I'm not throwing the rest away. I've no. started something with the remainder. Mm -hmm. Hang oh, on. Are we, are we still doing finished? Because I don't know the finished. Oh, you you go on with your finish then. And then I'll show you what I've started with my remainder. Oh, yes. So good. So this is my woven interpretation of the Doctor Who scarf. I love it so much. So it's three meters long. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, you can see there I've had a bit of a problem with the um the warp edges mm -hmm. being quite tight. Right. Yeah. So on the other end, I fixed it because I snipped and then I stretched it and I have it. I snipped it, tied another bit to it, threaded yeah. it all through and then stretched it. Right. Um which is quite surprising that I would actually go to that length to fix something. I'm um, impressed. Then I thought I'd just iron it, but I didn't. But it's been folded flat and I've had it on the heated towel rail. Went through the dryer for about half an hour as well to do the felty bit. Yep. But it's felted really nicely. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So there's Are like, you happy with it? yeah, just that one little bit. It's like, mm, which is a bit bobbly, but otherwise, I think that it's worked out really well. I love all, I love some of the colors, like some of the tweety effects. Like, I did it quite random. It's know. quite a good sampler, really, isn't it? I, I like this bit here. Yeah. So, whatever that bit was, I think that might have been at the beginning before I put it away and then I brought it back out again and then just went, I need to finish this. Cool. But um, I kind of went occasionally in blocks mm -hmm. and then I did stripy bits. Yeah. But because I had on my warp all the colours, it was always going to be kind of random colours as, as I went through it. Yeah. Yeah, but I do know now that three meters for a scarf width, it's quite hard to warp up. 
So I guess in the future you would might consider using a warping board. I might consider using a person to help me mm. as well because I yeah. did it all myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to hold the tension while I was, um, you know, doing the twirly on. And also I had it set up weirdly and I didn't have three metres worth of space. Right, so, so you were going around of, something. And, yeah, a bit yeah. clunky, yeah. But no, I, I don't think I, I don't weave enough to mean I need another piece of equipment. <laughs> it could be the sort of thing that you could warp, do a few warps at retreat, for example. Oh, that's true. Borrow someone's warping board at mm. retreat. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to do another three metre scarf. <laughs> fair, fair enough. It's actually three and a half metres with the fringe. Wow. So it comes down to just below my knees if I wrap it round once and the once kind of sits about here. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's really, really cool. I know. I know. So I finished my Doctor Who one. But, um, just saying. I've still not done anything Doctor Who, guys. Yeah, and you've got maybe you've got Doctor Who um shawl to finish. I do. Um, maybe I should bring that along to retreat. It's a good idea. Yeah, um, I think you need to on it. be in the loving it to do it. True. Yeah, I think I'm sure once I pick it up, I'll love it. Mm. Actually, I could probably use those colors are very similar to my um slip stravaganza blanket. Mm -hmm. and I'm running out of yarn for the slip stravaganza blanket so that could be another reason to finish it so that I can then use that yarn in my slip stravaganza blanket there you go that's inspiration right there there you go perfect so tell me yeah. what you've used, what you're using your leftover um fades to so what have you started I've started a crochet blanket, which I'm really excited about because I really wanted to do this with my leftovers of this. And I was like more excited about doing the crochet blanket than the shawl at one point. Yeah. I don't know. I think I was just so over it. But um, there it is. Yeah, just a granny square. Nice. But it's so cool. It is cool. So That's I'm pretty. holding them together. So mm -hmm. for each ball, I'm pulling from the middle and the outside. Yes. Um, and I'm just doing one round yeah. for each colour and fading out. And when I run out of a colour, I'll just skip that colour on the next go round, you know. I'm just literally doing it until I run out. And I anticipate that it's not going to be very big. It's not going to be big enough for a whole blanket, I don't think. We shall see. Um, so I might end up just bordering it in something else. Something else, yeah. Some Doctor Who colours. <laughs> no, I don't think Doctor Who colours will work. <laughs> That's really pretty. But, but it might be the sort of thing that I can just pull like one skein from my stash and and add it in, you know, like add the whole skein. Because once you get towards the outside of a, of a blanket, it that's takes cool. a lot more yarn to go around, so that's sort of where I'm at with so that. Just, it's just going to be one big square? One big square, yeah. Nice. I did think about doing multiple squares, but because I don't have the same amount of each yarn, so, like, to show you how much of a variation there is, like, that's almost a full cake. I think that's 70 grams. And this one, I only had like 20 grams left. So there's quite a lot of variation. Yeah. Oh. So I'm just going to do what I've got. I have a maths question for you now. Because you I love maths questions. ratios. So if you finish this this year, will you take that off your stash as well? No, I won't. Because you already have. Because <laughs> I've already banked them. And one wondering. of the reasons you're gonna get a double whammy there. <laughs> no, no, no. So one of the reasons I felt okay about banking it pretty quickly was because I already had a leftovers project in mind as well. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> but it does fall within my my own rules that I set for myself. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I said I haven't finished my jersey. I have done the sleeves. Oh, excellent. And I've done the majority of the body. Oh, you're nearly there. So I just need to, I'm about this, this much before the sleeves, because I'm measuring constantly. And I'm doing the cropped version, which I think is 10 and a half um, inches. Yep. So um, when I measured it at lunchtime, it was 10 inches. So I think I'm not far away. But I also i am hoping that the top bit doesn't need a whole skein of yarn because I'm about another, that's it really. I've got one skein um, to the purple. Right. But the top's mostly colour work. Hmm. You should be okay. You should be fine, yeah. But, yeah, so that's where I am with my jersey, with my purple jersey. It's so pretty, that colour. Oh. It's cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, it had, it had a lot called of, again? It's called Ice Ice Fall. Ice Hall. Tim Ice Fall, Tim Cannets. It had quite, it has quite a, a high low hem. Hmm. So, um, actually, so lots of short rowing. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, it was. It's quite, quite a lot longer at the back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'd be nervous doing a bottom up these days if I was playing yarn chicken. No, I was thinking about that too. It's like, well, you know what? I've got lots of the the lime green. I might just have to finish with lime green at the top. You just finish with lime green, exactly. Yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah. It'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> She'll be right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or in another color. <laughs> yeah. I've been I've been ticking away at, on my my slip. What nice. is this? Scrappy socks, following the um, recipe by Crazy Sock Lady. Mm -hmm. This is the um, avocado heel, so oh, lots fun. of lots of very weird um, short rowing. Oh. Um, I will bring them along to retreat for anyone who's interested in a different heel because oh. it's interesting. It requires a lot of concentration. Oh. I definitely didn't nail it on the second one. Yeah. Because my addition didn't add up at the end and I kind of fudged it a little bit. So it it looks fine. Yeah. It looks the same as the others, but the other one, but it's moved over by like one or two stitches one way. So I'm anticipating that this particular sock will fit better on one foot than the other because of that. Okay, yeah. Be yeah otherwise I think I'll get slipping like anyway but look I'm almost up to you I've just started a foot that's bigger than the other anyway yeah well that's right so I just swap them around if you feel like it's slipping <laughs> yeah so I've just started the purple yeah not much to go that's why I thought I'd have three yeah done but nearly yeah. I was halfway through the heel increase on my night shift this week so I I finished the and I think that's why I made mistakes I did it on my night shift yeah <laughs> it wasn't just that I'd been knitting in the car during a pickup the previous week and I was doing a heel a complicated heel knitting in the car yeah dumb just, no <laughs> just asking for problems it is yeah. So I've got one more pair of socks that I'm nearly finished. Oh, like the, the sock machine. Oh, I like that. I'm like the sock machine. So <laughs> this is a pair I started at Retreat two years ago. Mm. So this is another one of my 23 and 23 ones. I'm nearly done with the second sock, but this sock was completely finished during our re Retreat weekend. Mm -hmm. It's um, Sparks, I think. Sparks, Sparks Sock by Andrea Maori. This is the Andrea Maori show at the moment. Um, it's got a true afterthought heel, so it's all colour work and then you do an afterthought heel and it's my hand spun is Ooh. that. Yeah. Ooh. 
So I remember spinning like a mad thing to finish the yarn so that I could cast it on during retreat weekend. Yeah. So I'm I'm knitting it inside out. And it probably it looks like you haven't got much to go. Not much at all. So the heel is there. You nearly at your foot. I'm really close. I mean your toe. Yeah. Really close. Yeah. Oh, cool. Really close. So that'll be my next finish thing. I'm really I'm <laughs> loving finishing all the things. It's so good. Because then you can cast things on. <laughs> I know. Um, Have you I, cast anything on this weekend, this this fortnight? Yeah. Yeah? Mm, but, um, look, I'm making a headway on this one as well. <laughs> my cafe knitting. I'm up to my Oh, third. yes. So that's where I'm at. So I went oh. one, two, and I started on my number three now. It's quite a, a different, like, oh, oh, that's the wrong way around. It's quite dark, like a lot yeah. darker than I thought it would be. But I don't mind it it's very moody actually yeah so I totally yeah. totally messed it up totally <laughs> like from here I've messed up right so this, this section here is a slip stitch mm -hmm. slip stitch section yeah I read totally wrong and it's supposed to look like that slip stitch section slip stitch bleh. that section and yeah. that section is supposed to be the same uh, oh. I got to about here and I realised that I messed up and I thought, oh, stuff that, I'm not going backwards. So um, I thought I'll change it when I change colours. So this is Blunt. the real pattern. That's that's the gel version, um, which is a lot more, a lot denser. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of pulled it in a bit more than I guess it would normally. But so it will have to be blocked pretty hard oh, then yeah. i think so yeah yeah i mean it will, it will stretch it'll stretch quite well but i quite like the, how it's how it has come out mm. it looks good it was a lot harder i tell you my bit was a lot more hard work <laughs> i hope it's not using more yarn than the other bit oh it doesn't matter i mean it's gonna it's a three skein yarn i mean it's already you know wearable at this yeah. size and I've only just started my last game so right yeah but um I have been um trying to make a concentrated effort to do this one so I, yeah. I, I, I quite like the colors something different for me hmm. Hmm. it'll go with a lot of things I think so. it's very neutral yeah it's kind of, it's kind of grown up isn't it <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again I get I get inspired to be like, oh, I should just have like a black or a grey shawl to go with everything. Yes, me too. Never <laughs> happens. So I'm impressed that you've done one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um I my little I have done a little um cast on. Mm -hmm. I spent all day Sunday going through all my scraps making scrap boy i've got like one mm. two three four five six eight of these right eight of these balls of scraps and i started the jigsaw puzzle blanket Ooh, that's just a stephen west one it's a i don't know what's going on with all of my needles um but this is how it's looking so far so that was number one. Oh, that's cool then it's number two and now i'm at number three I'm not changing, like like he says, to change the, the yarns each time. Because I've, I've just put them all together, I'm just going to carry on. And, yep. it, I mean, it changes as it goes. So yeah, so it's a modular thing, as you can tell, because I've got bits yep. here and bits here. But, um, yeah, that's about That's that really enough. fun. So far, I've done nearly a square. <laughs> well done. That's that's been on my um, to knit list for a while. Yeah, mine too. And then I, we, I know we talked about that, um, mm -hmm. the one we, we were all talking about the other day, the Radvent as well. Yes. Um, but my scraps, I didn't feel I could do that with my scraps. What I did do, though, going through my scraps was I did my minis again. So I took 
anything that was like anything that was less than 40 grams. Yep. I took 20 grams off and made a mini. And then I put the rest into my scraps. That's a good idea. Mm. So then you've got 20 gram minis sitting there to do um, like an an adventy sort of project. Yeah. Mm, That's about around and like I don't, it's only the second time I've done it because that's, it takes a lot of motivation to get around to thinking like that yeah <laughs> to be and organized, <laughs> weighing things that's right and then yeah. scanning and yeah yeah <laughs> so did you do mini actual mini skeins not just oh well yeah. done you yeah so they're all in skeins mm. i don't know so but now i've got quite a lot of mini skeins which is quite cool mm, that mm. is cool yeah. Have you um cast on anything else this week? I have. Something I very you exciting. Have. You already know. It's so pretty. I, I've been sending pictures. I haven't made a huge amount of progress, but it's gorgeous. So again, this is the Andrea Mowry show this week. <laughs> Last year, um Lupine, one of our local shops had a sale on all of her kits and she had a kit for the night shift out of spin cycle yarn. So I thought this is probably the cheapest I will ever see spin cycle yarn and I've been dying to try it. So I bought a kit. So six skeins of the worsted weight one, the what's it called? Dream State. And... I've cast it on because I finished my um, my find your fade. I was like, I have to reward myself for that hard work. So um, it won't be as pretty showing you this way, but these are the colors. Oh, I've just dropped a ball. There's one more. <laughs> so they're the colors. Mm-hmm. Um, if you go to my Ravelry project page, I've got a really pretty picture. <laughs> but that's a pretty picture. This is a pretty picture, though. Yeah. Look at that. So I've it, done this. I've done the shift, and I've done the shifty. Yeah. So I think that are the stitch patterns very similar, is it? Like you do. I would imagine it's almost the identical. The twos. The ones and twos. Yeah. 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 Cool. So I'm. Um, Oh, here we go. I'll pick up the color. So I just started. So I'm really happy with it. I love this. I know this peachy color is not everyone's cup of tea, but it's actually quite a magical color. That's this one. And it's got all the colors in it. It's fantastic. And that's like the main color. You knit that color with every color until you get to the end of that section until you've knit on every color and then you change back from that one yeah yeah makes sense in my head (laughs) but um yeah it is rolling a bit so I'm hoping blocking will fix that I I'm sure it will but um my cowley thing rolled well when I knit it but then it blocked fine oh cool I'm pleased to hear that um, I'm quite interested that this seems to be quite a thin yarn. Yeah. I kept checking the label, actually, wow. yeah. because it feels like a sport weight, but mm. it's, I keep checking the label, it's their worst <laughs> weight. So I'm assuming it blooms significantly. Yeah. Um, which can happen with um, hand spun yarn. Um, that's what I'm thinking. But, yes, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I love great colours. Yeah. That's so cool. I think she had, like, four different kits. Um, actually, I think I picked the colours myself now mm-hmm. that I remember. Yeah, this one, I love this colour. This is such oh, a cool nice. colourway. Nice. And this one too. This was, I think they were like the three I picked. Yeah. And then I picked some like filler colors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the rest are very not me. 
really. Mm. Uh, but they kind of fill in the gaps. And I think having the three dark ones with the three bright ones kind of balances it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Oh. And it's really fun knit. And the thing with the two and the one thing mm. is that you'll be like, okay, I'm going to knit the one section tonight. Okay, I'm going to knit the two section tonight. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's potato chippy. Yeah. So on my staffing thing, where you got the one section, that's the bit I did wrong on my mine. So I uh, knit it like that and it wasn't uh, supposed to be like that. It was more like a, a slip stitch rib. It was right. Like, yeah. Right. So, so you'd done that in the past, so you just kind of slipped into that. I did. Mm. Slipped. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. dum dum <laughs> Unintended. <laughs> yeah. Oh, funny. <laughs> Um, it's like, wow, we've, we've been like um, super knitters. We have been knitting a lot, eh? Yeah. So I've made I've made a little bit of progress on my, um, what's you call it, my... Are you blanket? Slip Stravaganza blanket. Um, where's the... I like to... I like putting a marker every time we podcast and every time I show it. So yeah. I was there. And I've just I'm done like, finished one color. Yeah, it's really slow now. Oh, it's a lot of stitches. It's it's almost four hundred stitches. So, and it's heavy. It's, it looks amazing. It is amazing. I will bring this to retreat to show off. Yeah, cool, nice. I did have it in my mind that maybe I'd bring it to retreat and put it on my bed, all finished. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No one needs that stress in their life. No, no. And for a moment then I went, oh, jigsaw puzzle blanket. And then I went, no. <laughs> I like so I don't need that stress at all. No. I might finish my yeah. purple jersey. That might be it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Hmm. Oh, but, yeah, i got lots of fun stuff to bring to retreat. That's for sure. That's cool. I've been doing some spinning. Oh, Show me your beautiful spinning. I did see this. Uh, Gorgeous. The sun's come out now. And it's oh, of... no. I, I like how it's all like primary colours. Yeah. So uh, it's more muted than I than I when I first spun So I split it in half and it was very rainbow-like. Right. But interesting because in the braid it didn't look like that. Oh. In the in the braid it looked more like this, but when I split it, it looked like it looked like I was spinning through a rainbow. Right. But then mm. when I applied it together, uh, I really like it. It's like, mm, yeah, quite beautiful. Yeah, that was um something I picked up in Bendigo. <laughs> so have you spun everything you picked up in Bendigo now then? No. Got one oh. left. <laughs> Are you going to save that for a special occasion or when you need to pick me up? Or? I don't think so. It's one of the bright pink ones. I started oh, yeah. it in case I ran out of um, That's right. when yeah. I did my ranunculus. So I started it. So I've done like a, maybe about 20 grams of it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I and have then, done no spinning this fortnight, none at all. This was my other Bendigo spin too. Oh, yes, this is fantastic. Yeah, so, again, the sun's come in and it's making funny things with my with my colours. But it's um, purples and blues and pinks. And it is, um, it was a bat from Fleecy Fingers. So Wendy mm-hmm. from Fleecy Fingers. It's got alpaca and tussa and coradale and more alpaca and merino and sparkle and something else that nobody knew what it was called but it looks oh. like it says tribble and oh, I, asked, I asked the um people and they didn't know what it was so that's a nylon, oh, a type okay. Of nylon. yeah oh, okay well it's got that in it as well yeah so i, I did um a coarse spin mm. and then a um a coarse spin and a spiral ply you're just getting with, really good at that spiral flying. But just with some cotton. Yeah. But it's really easy. I found that really easy. It's just like hold it up. So. But it's like some 
I can't, you can't see, oh my God, like this, see the bright pink sparkles Yeah, there. that's so <laughs> cool. it's, got, it's got a lot of sparkles and stuff. I got 170 meters. Oh, well done. Mm. So How many my grams? piece of A hundred? 100 grams, yeah. Yeah. Bats aren't always 100 grams, that's why I asked. No, oh, yeah, no, this was 100 grams. It says, it says it was 100 grams. It was, it was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of sparkly stuff in it. Hmm. Cool. So that was my um, Saturday playing. Saturday playing that and then Sunday was my making my balls of uh, bubbles and, and my other things. Which Sounds like you had a lot of fun on the weekend then. Good, Just yeah. playing. It was rainy. Yeah, it was a rubbish weekend. Yeah. Calvin's So it was. game even got cancelled, his soccer game. I Oh. dropped him off too. I dropped him off and I was on my way home and I got a message from my husband um, that it had been cancelled. So I was almost home and I had to turn around and go and pick him up again. Oh. And he didn't know I was coming to pick him up because he didn't take his phone or anything. So I had to then get out of the car in the rain and go and get him, like because he couldn't see the car from the, anyway. <laughs> That's my sub story. And we keep talking about retreat because retreats <laughs> next week after next. yep. Yes, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, I need a weekend away. But I've got my mum coming this weekend, so I've got two really exciting weekends. Yeah, nice. Yeah, That's so yeah. lovely. I've got the following weekend going to Wellington for a weekend with a friend. Oh, lovely. Yes, that's quite nice. I'm catching up The with weekend other friends. after retreat. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Next week I've got a couple of days working in Fakatane. So Yeah. that's, Mm -hmm. um, and I'll drive each day. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from here. And Right. the drive is beautiful all the way down the coast. It's a really, really nice drive. Have you driven that recently, though? Several times. Because are, are the roads okay at the moment since Yeah. all the flooding? Oh, good. They're fine. Yeah. Because I know the roads up north of you aren't very good. No, um, and right around the East Cape, they're still a bit funny. I, I saw on the news that Gisborne's was having some road issues again with water and slash and stuff, Yeah. taking out parts of the road. With all this rain we've been having, it's just like everything's super wet again. Every time it rains, it's just paddocks fill up and Yeah. there's so the ground is so wet everywhere that anytime we rain, it's just sitting on top. Nothing is soaking in anymore. Yeah, Yeah. not so good. I, I have done a little bit of shopping. Oh, I didn't think I know. we were talking shopping. I know. <laughs> So, okay, what have you been shopping? well, at the at Fibertron, I got a couple of bags, Mm. Oh, yeah. and so and they from um, That's in right. stitches, Yes, yes. and I really loved them, and I specifically asked her to make me the matching needle nooks. That's right. Oh. So that's one, and actually the other one is in the other bag, which is at work. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I can't show you the other one, but I got matching needle nooks for my awesome bag, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and I got a bit of sock yarn. Oh, I was going to say that that didn't count as shopping because you'd already organised it, Yeah, you know, from yeah, last yeah, week's yeah. shop. But but now I'm taking that back. Oh, sorry, it's here. <laughs> It's here. Here's my other so needle. cool. But um, yeah, that's a fabulous, fabulous material, isn't it? Yeah. Like. She and she's super speedy. So I was so so pleased that she was able to do that. So from now on, if I buy from her, I will I will do that again and again. I'll just say, and I want the matching needle nooks. So um I think my dog is outside and my kids are ignoring her. I can hear her barking. Anyway, so I have a whole bag full of sock yarn Oh. And and how come? from Good Wool, Wool Hunting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They had 20% off Opal and I have a sock machine. So 
Oh, and the other thing, they got the Van Gogh sock in. Oh, yeah, nice. Right, so I'm just pulling them all out so that I can show you. <laughs> so I'll start with the boring ones. Mm -hmm. I got some plain colours. Okay, yes. Good to have plain, I think. Good for, I think, um, pattern socks, eh? Yeah, and also after my success with my weaving, mm. with that black and white, I thought it might be nice to do a clasped warp. Yes. With black and white. Nice. Mm, so that was what I was thinking. Um, but also, as you say, colour work, if you just need a little bit. Mm. And this is for mending. Right. Because it's super fun to mend with red. Red has been a traditional mending colour for a very long time and in Japan, when they break pottery, they use gold mm. to mend um, pottery. And so I'm thinking, like, this is my going to be my mending yarn mm. and all of my mending will be one colour. Nice. Um, and it'll be like an adornment. And I just love this colour. Um, yeah. So it's quite a, it's actually quite a deep red. Uh, it's quite a lot deeper than, that's probably closer to the colour. Um, but, yeah, it's like a, like a, not a burgundy, but it's just a deep red. So, yeah, it's called um, I don't know. I'm sure it was like ruby or something, ruby red. Yeah, yeah, ruby red. I mean, that's what color it is. It's a ruby. Mm -hmm. So that's my, that's now my darning yarn. Cool. Right on to the fun stuff. So, my favorite um, Van Gogh in the whole wide world, is the Starry Starry Night one. Oh, you nice. I had to get that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't actually think it was a true representation of Starry Starry Night. But you don't know what it's going to be like when it's knit. Well, yeah, you kind of do because, like, from the picture. Oh, yeah. But, which isn't yeah. showing very clear. But they had another one, which was the, it's this one. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I actually think, to me, that's what I think of with Starry Starry Night. So, yes. yeah, they're subtle and different, but I don't know. Anyway, they're both beautiful. Right, so I've got them. And because I've been, I've been eating through my sock yarn lately. And that's how I'll pretend Van Gogh. Oh, the water lilies. Yeah, we've got one around the corner as well of, China, of a mm. Japanese lady. Well, I have the starry, starry light night in um, Lego. Lego, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. That's fun. Um, And I think, is this, I know I got some in sport weight. That might be a sport weight one. I'm just looking at the lengths. Don't know. But that oh no ah oh, oh, I don't know oh no this is a sport weight one right yeah. called Fantastic Sky nice isn't that pretty it is pretty so that'll be a hand knit one mm -hmm. and then look at this one wow that's cool so it's got like colors and then yeah. this bit's got bits in it so. Oh, I, I just tried to pick ones that were really fun to knit on my machine. And the other one I got was, this is actually 8-ply. I like that. It's, yeah, it's um 150 grams. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Um, 320 metres. So that's a good amount for a pair of socks. This one I have to cast on pretty soon because... Um, when I was in Melbourne, my sister-in-law gave me some oh, socks that I knit her, the long socks. I'll have to show them another time. Um, and so I need to replace them. <laughs> and I asked her if she wanted the same thickness mm. or if she wanted, like, regular socks. I was kind of hoping she'd say thinner, but she wants the same thickness. So I'm going to have to hand knit some 8 fly socks for her, which is fine. Um, but she doesn't need them to be knee length. Phew. <laughs> yeah otherwise I would have needed two um yeah. 
but yeah I just thought that was very her so so yeah that was a very very big sock yarn purchase but my sock yarn drawers actually gone down so well because you're using your machine I guess I am, yeah, and, and I you, would really you, like to make. There's about five pairs today. <laughs> I know, and I would really like to make socks for everyone for Christmas. Yeah, um, everyone in Australia for Christmas. Yeah. So right. yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm thinking. But I need hmm. to do a, a, a sock count as well to see how many have I made enough for everybody in Wellington. For would you call it a sock take? <laughs> a sock take. <laughs> I'm not oh, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I can knit a pair of socks also on my knitting machine in a night at knit night. So I knit a pair last night. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, well, that's pretty good going actually. If I can get through a skein a week. There you go. You'll be shopping again in another six weeks. No. <laughs> Hopefully I'm done for the year. <laughs> okay, so we'll put um your little video of the cranking from yep. last weekend. Anything anything you want to talk about with your cranking? Oh, no, it was just a really fun day and we're definitely going to make it an annual event. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Kathy said that last night. She was like, yep, we'll do it again next year. And I did say that maybe we could have it in the summer outside. Mm. Because she's got a nice outdoor area now too. Nice. Mm. Everyone brought a plate and we had lots of yummy food and, yeah, yes. we were there until like 4 o'clock. We- <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could have stopped in on the way past and cranked yeah. out. We oh, totally oh. could. <laughs> could have. So my, my sock machine is living there at the moment and um, last week when I wasn't there because I was working, um, quite a few tubes were cranked. And then during the week, Brent cranked a, a tube. Oh. Yeah. And I said to Kathy, perhaps uh, you need to watch him because he likes my tools. Mm. Because we now have evidence of him spinning on my nano. <laughs> <laughs> and cranking thing. on my machine. It's the machinery thing, eh? Yeah. It's the machinery thing, yeah. Gadgety gadgets, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love gadgets, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah. So enjoy the little video of our cranking. I got in- interrupted. I I did like a little video, and then I needed to help someone. So yeah, uh, it's a very short video, <laughs> a couple of max. Yeah. Cool. And um, I'll see you at retreat in a couple of weeks. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> looking forward to it i've taken the friday afternoon off as well so i can go um see my nephew who's his birthday before i come to retreat so that'll be quite cool very good yeah very good um i have not taken the afternoon off but i finish work at three so i'll just take off whenever um jen and i'll be going together again so yeah it's all good well you've got three minutes three or four minutes before you have to run yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Efficient time management. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, shall we say fairly fairly well? Fairly well. Yeah. Okay, an old timey person. <laughs> Matiwa. <laughs> Matiwa. <laughs> so we've got three machines here today, three circular sock machines. And everyone's cranking a tube. Yeah. Miss Jan, she's cranking a very nice tube. How it's coming out. The arms down there, whoops, it's rolling around a bit. And it comes up. And down. And then we uh, knit it round. Is that fun, Jen? It's quicker than doing it by hand. Yeah, that's for sure. Julie's is beautiful. Are you having fun, Julie? Oh, it's great. 
Yeah. 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 It's a lovely opal yarn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. I thought it was going to be more stripy, but I like the effect. You never know what opal's going to do, eh? Not for an enemy. That one is Sue's machine, and it's all blinged. It's got lovely brass. All right, so when should I stop? And this one is Jane's, and she, hers is blinged too. She's got all the lovely... And no, no, are you just doing a plain pink one? I am. <laughs> nice. I should have done self stripe huh? Nothing wrong with pink. <laughs> Went to the movie last night. Oh, I love pink. Pink for life. I don't have anything pink. <laughs> I have lots of pink. So, um, you can actually knit full socks with it. And what happens is... This is some socks I knit last night. Whoops. So they haven't been finished yet, but what happens is I've just done a um, folded hem there. And you can do the, the heel, and then the toe is actually another heel. So it comes out looking like that, but you end up sewing that bit together and that's why your commercial socks have a line on the top because you sew that together to get a full sock. Um, but what everyone's doing today is, all right, everyone's just doing them today and we're going to do add the heels on.